Hello there, you wonderful, beautiful, radiant person here. This is Chris from TechSpert, and I'm here with four, counting four, wallet-friendly Honor smartphones. We've got the freshly launched Honor 20 Lite here on the left, revealed just today here in Europe. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side with last year's Honor 10 flagship phone, the Honor Play, launched at the end of 2018 slash start of 2019, depending on your region, and the Honor 8X, uh, which again came out towards the end of 2018, all offering stunning value for money. The 20 Lite will cost 250 quid here in the UK. The others can generally be picked up for between the 200 to 300 pound price point. Lots of discounts on them at the moment, especially the Honor 10, as that is coming up to its first birthday, of course, with the launch of the Honor 20 smartphone, which will be happening later in May. So let's do a full comparison of the specs and features and everything else you need to know to see which one might be best for you. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers. So let's start off by comparing the design. As you can see, they're very almost in size order. The Honor 10 is actually the more compact of the four, thanks to its 5.84 inch screen. It's the only Honor handset here that is sub six inch. Inches. The Honor 20 Lite is 6.21, the Honor Play is 6.3, and the Honor 8X is a mighty mammoth 6.5 inch beast. So of course, if you're gonna want something that's pleasingly compact, slip into your pants no problem, and nice and easy to use one-handed, then the Honor 10 certainly will not disappoint. Thankfully, most of these smartphones do come with a built-in one-handed mode as well. If you dive into the Smart Assistant, it's buried away in there. This just allows you to shrink down the display, as you can see right there, makes it so much easier to reach up for that notifications bar, Good, simple stuff. Unfortunately, for some reason, this mode is not available on the 20 Lite, at least not just yet. Hopefully it will come in an update. Not really sure why it's missing in action there, but there is no way of shrinking that screen, unfortunately, on this review model. Now, if we flip these Honor phones around, you'll see all four of them sport a very different design. Actually, the Honor 20 Lite and the Honor 10 aren't vastly different. They have this lovely striation style effect. I believe the Honor 10 was actually one of the first Honor phones to introduce this design. As you can see there, when the light catches the glass back in just so, you get this lovely visual feast for the eyes. It really is very stunning stuff. And of course, here on the Honor 20 Lite, you get a lovely gradient style design, blue morphing into purple as you go down the handset. The Honor Play is, of course, the odd one out. This is actually the Player's Edition version of the Honor Play, so a slightly different design to the standard one. But as you can see, if you get in close, you have this very funky sort of chipboard style design to uh, emphasize the fact that it is a handset aimed at gamers, because of course you've always got to do something different for a gaming handset. Can't just make it look normal or anything. And then the Honor 8X, a pretty bog standard basic uh, design for that one. It is again a glass finish, but it's very flat, kind of lacks the nice curved edging of the Honor 10 and the Honor 20 Lite. So unfortunately, not quite as exciting there, and of course a bit of a hand filler as well. And it's also definitely worth pointing out as well that none of these handsets are IP rated, so they're not dust or water resistant, or even splash resistant really. They'll be fine if you take them out in the rain, I haven't had any problems with that. Plenty of testing on that front, believe me, living here in the good old UK. And touch wood as well, those glass backings do seem pretty hardy as well. A few little scratches appearing on some of the older models. On a 20 Lite, I'm expecting the same. Uh, but you do get a transparent bumper bundled in the box uh, for those Honor handsets as well. So that'll help to keep it in good nick if you're a bit more paranoid. And as you can see there, with three out of these four Honor smartphones, you also get a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor as well. The Honor 10 is the odd one out, as it actually has its fingerprint sensor built in just beneath the display right here. So just reach down with your thumb, and that will unlock the smartphone. All of the others, it does feel a little bit better. I prefer the rear mounted uh, design because as you pick the phone up, your finger just naturally falls underneath that sensor and give it a quick tap and boom, again, you're into your desktops. And the good news is you do get full facial recognition on all four of these smartphones as well. And it works really well as long as you're not wearing shades or anything like that. Uh, but even in low light conditions, it tends to do the job. Just a quick push to the power button or raise the phone to wake as well also works. And as you can see there, just scans your gorgeous mug or not so gorgeous in my case and then boom you're into your desktops as well now that fish recognition is just one of the many features added by Huawei's emotion ui software or a mui as i like to call it for short as you can see it's a different version on pretty much every single handset here unfortunately the honor 10 and the honor 8x the older handsets are languishing on version 8 so that's last year's version of, of Motion UI. It was actually updated for the Huawei Mate 20 series around sort of October time, 2018. And uh, then we got a Motion UI version 9, which is what you'll find here on the 20 Lite and the Honor Play as well. Still no sign of an update for Honor 10 and the Honor 8X on our personal handsets, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Thankfully, those older MIUI 8 handsets still feature many of the same great bonus bits that you will find on the MIUI 9. It's just slightly nicer laid out here on the 20 light and the play so for us if we dive into the display settings 
you'll see that uh, you've got all of the options right there on the main screen here on the older AMUI version 8. Whereas in AMUI 9, you've got this nice tidy uh, way, you've got more display sense. So some of the lesser used stuff is just kind of tucked away. So it keeps it all nice and fresh. And for instance as well, if we dive into some of the apps you'll see in the older Motion UI version 8, a lot of the tabs and options are stuck way up here at the top of the screen. Not great when you've got a massive smartphone. Whereas here on the Motion UI 9, it is of course tucked away at the bottom instead, so much easier. But besides that, it is pretty much business as usual. You get all of the same apps pre-installed on there, so the likes of the phone clone, the phone manager, definitely a handy little tool which just helps you to uh, clean up some of the clutter on your smartphone, keep everything running nicely, all that kind of shenanigans and of course all the usual crapware as well hooray so let's move on to the display tech and all four of these on a smartphone support an lcd panel not a massive shock considering the price point they're all full HD plus panels as well. You get this nice full screen finish here on the Honor 20 Lite and the Honor 8X as well. That screen pretty much stretches to the very edges of the smartphones, very little bezel action indeed. Whereas unfortunately here on the Honor 10 and the Honor Play, you do get quite a chunky bezel down below. That's to house, of course, the fingerprint sensor here on the Honor 10, whereas you just get a bit of Honor branding here on the Play. The brightness levels are absolutely spot on, and all four of these Honor smartphones as well, you can also tweak the color temperature. They come in vivid mode by default, but you can also dial that down to normal if you prefer a slightly more realistic hue. As you can see there, in terms of the color temperature, they're all more or less a match for one another. The Honor 10 does seem slightly warmer on those menus. Honor 8X as well, but uh, here on the, certainly the Honor Play and the Honor 20 Lite, nice crisp whites look really, really stunning with those default settings. And of course you can play around with the temperature and everything as well if you like. So as you can see there, if we open up the same image on all four smartphones, basically the color reproduction is more or less a match. As I say, slightly warmer hues on a couple of these handsets, but uh, that's just by the default. You can twiddle about with that if you like, and certainly nice striking images for basic LCD panels. And as you can see, all four smartphones have a different size of notch up top as well, intruding on the action when you have a bit of full screen mode on the go here. Thankfully, it's not too bad at all here on the Honor 20 Lite. It's a little dewdrop style notch or nipple notch as I like to call it. Whereas you get a proper full on mustache notch on the other three, especially here on the Honor Play. That's a proper Algana effort, that is. When it comes to Netflix, you've got a good bit of wide vine support L1, so that's all absolutely fine, all three of these smartphones. Unfortunately, however, on the Honor 8X, bizarrely, I now can no longer actually get Netflix installed. If I search for Netflix, it just simply doesn't pop up in the apps menu. I did actually have Netflix installed, so it was no longer compatible. So I'm not sure what is going on there. Very, very strange. Hopefully that's just limited to my review device and not every Honor 8X out there. That would be a bit weird. Good news on the audio front, as all four of these smartphones do boast a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you don't have to rely on good old Bluetooth or dongly things. As for the actual built-in speakers, well, they're all bottom-mounted speakers. There's no stereo output, unfortunately. You won't be able to listen to media via their top-mounted earpieces as well. And generally, in terms of the quality, there's not exactly much in it. The 20 Lite does sound decidedly tinny. I have to say. Running track covered in potholes and landmines, especially after all this galaxy. But you find the other three basically much of a muchness. The mobile hasn't just had a bit of a bumpy road of late. It's been a bit of a bumpy road of late. It's been more like a bloody bit of a bumpy road of late. It's been more like a bloody dirt rally. So as you can see there, the Honor Play is probably slightly better in terms of clarity and volume, but overall, again, very little in it. Now, as demonstrated by this lovely bit of benchmarking software, there isn't a massive gulf in performance between these four Honor smartphones, despite the fact that they rock very different hardware. The fresh new Honor 20 Lite and the Honor 8X both have a Kirin 710 chipset powering them. That's a mid-range platform, and it's backed by four gigs of RAM on both these handsets as well. On the Honor 10 and the Honor Play, it's actually the Kirin 970 chipset instead. Now, that was the flagship premium platform uh, launched by Huawei, but that was back in 2017, so of course it's aged a bit now. So as you see, there's not a massive difference in terms of the single or the multi-core scores here on Geekbench 4. You want to get, and get 4 gigs of RAM, of course, here on the Honor 10, the Honor Play as well, though I do believe that the Honor Play can be picked up with 6 gigs in some regions. The good news is your everyday performance on all three of these smartphones is absolutely fine. You will see the odd stutter and stammer here and there, uh, probably not helped by the rather heavy overlay, of course, on all four of these smartphones, but, you know, tap an app, generally it'll load up pretty much straight away. And relatively good news for gamers as well, because you can play a nice bit of PUBG Mobile on all four of these smartphones, helped along by the bit of GPU turbo action. 
Now GPU Turbo, for anyone who doesn't know, is a clever bit of Huawei software, just ticks away in the background when you're playing some of the most popular Android games, including a bit of PUBG mobile action. It just helps to keep a nice consistent frame rate uh, when you're busy running around shooting people in the face. Make sure you don't get any horrible lag, which will just take you out of the action and maybe possibly even kill you. In the game, of course, not in real life. Whee! Now you'll find that the Honor 20 Lite and the Honor 8X want you to play with the balanced graphics on those medium sort of settings uh, which we definitely say is a good plan uh, to maintain a nice consistent frame rate whereas in the case of the Honor 10 and the Honor Play it does actually start you off in HD mode with the, the high frame rate selected instead and again that seems to work perfectly well thanks to that GPU turbo so we'd say if you want the slightly more improved PUBG experience, the Honor 10 and the Honor Play will definitely give that to you. As for the battery life, it's unsurprising that the two biggest handsets here, the Honor Play and the Honor 8, export the larger battery tech. You've got 3,750 milliamp cell on both of these blowers. It's definitely easily keep you going through a full day, well into a second day as well. Here on the Honor 10, the Honor 20 Lite, it's not quite as massive. It's a 3,400 milliamp, which is still pretty generous. And again, you should get a full day, no problem, out of that and also into a second day, although the longevity is definitely improved here on the two big boys. But of course, as you can see, you get the usual selection of performance modes, ultra power saving modes, yada, yada, yada. So you can actually uh, tweak it around and uh, call some of those background apps as well that are sucking your valuable juice. As for the storage, it's the Honor 20 Lite and the Honor 10, which are the winners here. You get 128 gigs on both of those blows, whereas the Honor Play and the Honor 8X are slightly more limited, 64 gigs, but that's still fine for most people. You get full micro SD memory card support on all of these phones, except for the Honor 10 as well. So you can expand them apart from last year's flagship. And so finally, onto the camera tech. And as you can see here, the Honor 20 Lite is the standout model of the four with its triple lens rear setup. So let's have a quick run through the camera hardware on these four Honor smartphones. I'll try and keep this as simple as possible. So here on the Honor Play and the Honor 8 Exit, it's a very similar setup. You get a 16 megapixel primary lens here on the Play, f2.2, and it's a 20 megapixel here on the Honor 8 X, f1.8. It's so slightly better in those lower light conditions. And those are backed by a basic 2 megapixel depth sensor just for those portrait shots to lock on your subject and blur on everything in the background. The Honor 10 is actually a step up. It's a 16 megapixel RGB lens. That's actually backed by a 24 megapixel monochrome lens. So that can also do the whole depth sensing shenanigans, but it also means nice crisp detail for your photos as well. Here on the Honor 20 Lite, it is a very different setup indeed, however. So what you have here is a 24 megapixel primary lens, again f1.8, that's actually backed by an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens which gives you a very different view of the world, very good if you're trying to capture a massive monument or a vast vista, something like that. And then the third lens is again a basic 2 megapixel depth sensor. So what you'll find is it's the slightly older uh, camera app here on the Honor 10 and the Honor Play, so if you want uh, to get to the likes of the night mode you'll have to dive into the more section, it's all tucked away on there. I definitely prefer the uh, layout here on the Honor 20 Lite and the Honor 8X. You've got the likes of the night modes right there on the front panel. Night mode, of course, is the same on all four of these handsets, thankfully. It's the long exposure night mode. Just tap the shutter button in those low light conditions. It's a handheld long exposure mode. Just shoots a nice, bright, crisp, detailed photo, even when things are dark. Great stuff. Of course, you've got a portrait mode on all four of these handsets to shoot a nice bockerific uh, snap of your bestie or whatever. And as you can see there, you get faster access to the Huawei Master AI uh, up top as well, which is great news. It uh, does some smart scene recognition and it can uh, automatically swap to the likes of the portrait mode and the night mode. Uh, but sometimes you just want a nice natural looking shot. It's a good chance, uh, and it's a good idea to just knock that off in those instances. Because if it recognizes, for instance, flowers, cats, things like that, it will tweak the settings just to sort of help to bring them out a bit and tend to get a slightly more vibrant, less realistic snap. If you jump into the video mode, you'll see that uh, the capabilities are very different here as well. You can actually shoot 4K resolution video here on the Honor 10 and also on the Honor Play. Sadly, that option is not available on the 8X or the 20 Lite. It taps out at that full HD level. And of course, the unique feature here on the Honor 20 Lite is that ultra wide angle lens, which you can swap to with just a quick tap like so. And as you can see, it just opens up the view, a nice 120 degree view of the world. Very, very good indeed for some of those touristy snaps. And of course, before I forget, all four of them feature a single selfie lens snapper up front as well. 32 megapixel, 24, 16, 16. And as you can see there, you've got portrait mode uh, capabilities on all four of them as well. So it'll just track your face, keep you nice and sharp and just blow out everything in the background. 
And yes, you do even get a bit of AI scene recognition here on the Honor 20 Lite as well, if that's your bag. So that right there is my full in-depth comparison of these four budget-friendly Honor smartphones. The Honor 20 Lite will be available from May the 15th for £250 here in the UK. And as I said, the other three you can generally pick up for under 300 quid as well. Honor Play has dived under 250 Honor 8X is around the sort of 220 230 mark these days. Honor 10 should be dropping even more significantly in price with the launch of the standard Honor 20 as well, which is uh, later in May 2019, so stay tuned for that. So which one are you most tempted to buy? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you.